Hello, this is Carla Nix with today's inspiration just to help you along your journey. Today I want to talk about something that we all have. We don't always think about it and that's quite interesting but it's something that we all have. We have a mind. We have the ability to think and to figure out what we're going to do. The animals don't really have that. They operate by instinct. But we have a mind where we can think and we can make decisions for ourselves and we could, we could just actually think. The Bible tells us, Jesus. this is Jesus who speaks, who says, let this mind be in you, whereas Paul was talking, that says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Now, you might say, but I'm not, I'm not God. I'm not Jesus. I'm not perfect. Don't expect me to be like Jesus. But what does he mean by let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus? That means the way that you think, the way that you act, your behavior, the way that you love, it all has to do with your mind and your heart. Act like Jesus. Think like Jesus. Behave like Jesus. That means to do kind. Not to be so quick to do the wrong thing. You know, some people, they can't do right for nothing in the world because they are bent on doing the wrong thing at all times. They're looking to be slick and to get over and to see how they can uh, get over on people and, 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 and to get their way. And why not just think of the things that are, as the Bible tells us also, Think on these things. Think on those things that are good, those things that are true, those things that are pure, those things that are good report. These things are what we should be thinking about. And when we think about these things, we're going to operate. You usually operate or, or react or act depending upon how you're thinking. You know, when people commit crimes, uh, they have more of a penalty when it's a premeditated crime, when it's something that they thought about long and hard, something that they planned. So, it, you know, what we think about and what we feed ourselves with is very important. So meditate on the good things. Don't be so quick to be looking for gossip and to hear bad things. Some people, that's all they want to hear. It, it makes them happy to hear something bad about somebody. You know, they may not like the person. And they may become jealous or haters, as we say, when we hear good things about that person. But yet, let something bad happen and, and they're thrilled. Now, isn't that warped thinking? I read something somewhere and it is so true and it makes so much sense. It says that you cannot have a positive life with negative thoughts. So we have to change our mind, change our thoughts to line up to be like we want to be. We want good things to happen? Think about good things. We want to have happiness and joy? Have a joyful and a happy mind. Stop thinking nasty, meaning bad. Stop thinking how to get over. Stop thinking badly. Stop thinking how you could sin and how you could get away with things and how you could just hurt people. Think on good things because what you think about, that's what's going to come out. How you think is going to determine your behavior and it's going to determine where you go and how you go, how far in life you go, how far you get along. You think good things and you will operate in a good way. And therefore, good things will come your way. People will be more apt to want to work with you and to want to deal with you. Nobody don't want to think with, uh, work with anybody negative. They're always negative, negative thoughts. Nobody want to deal with that. We want somebody who's cheerful, <laughs> somebody who's uplifting, somebody who's not clingy, somebody who's not so needy, somebody who's not always whining and always complaining. It's one thing to vent and to say things, but when you're always speaking negatively, who wants to hear that all the time? Not me, and I'm sure you don't either. So think of good things to say to people. Lift people up. Don't bring them down. You can lift them up with your words. James in the Bible says that the tongue is, is, is like a two-edged sword, but also the tongue uh, uh, speaks life or death. The tongue is powerful, meaning what you say, your speech. And what you say, your speech, is going to uh, uh, depend upon what's in your mind and what you're thinking about. What are you thinking about?
What's on your mind right now? What kind of thoughts are going through your mind? If they're not good, if they're sad, if they're depressed, if they're evil, if they're trying to hurt people, if they are suspect suspicious of everybody, you know, some people they don't they just don't trust. Don't even know you, but they don't trust you. You know, stop thinking of those negative things. Ask God to change your mind. Change your mind. Let your mind line up with his word. And therefore, your actions and your life will line up with his word. God bless you today. Have a wonderful day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration. God bless you.